second. Okay, good. Um, well, welcome. Thank you all for joining. Um, I am Emma Lockwood, and I am your new customer marketing manager here at Adobe um, on the Adobe Marketo Engage User Groups program. Um, I'm really excited. Today we have our uh, latest installment of the Better Together series that we've been um, working on, which is on Adobe Marketo Engage and Adobe Analytics. Um, and I'm joined here by the Data Join team. Um, Sam and Cameron have some great content for you guys today. Um, before we get into that, I did want to just tell you guys about um, a new chapter that we've launched in our user groups program. It's called the Better Together chapter. Um, it's very apropos for this group here because this chapter features um, events that have two or more Adobe products being used together, like uh, Adobe Marketo Engage and Adobe Analytics, which we'll be discussing uh, here today. So if you are interested in other events uh, like this that have those multi-solution um, multi -solution themes, uh, I will drop in the, the link to the chapter after this so that you guys can join that and get notifications for future events. Um, one more thing, we're very excited to announce that Adobe Summit is back live and in person in Las Vegas next year. Uh, this is our first time that we've gotten back together in person for our Digital Experience Summit, so um, we're really, really excited to get to see you all again. Uh, for those of you who aren't able to attend in person, though, we will also be providing virtual content. The registration for that opens in early November, but you can go ahead and mark your calendars now for March 19th through 23rd and check out our website for more information, which I'll also post in the chat box. Uh, I also wanted to quickly remind everyone that our user groups are a place for networking, learning, and problem solving with one another. So we do ask that there's no promotional pitching and that you provide one another with respect and privacy in this safe space. So please don't contact anyone without their permission outside of this group, uh, nor share their case studies without their permission. And lastly, this meeting is being recorded, so um, keep that in mind, and I'll also post this to our chapter page and YouTube channel after the event. Um, and that's that's it for me, so I'll pass it over to Sam and Cameron from here. Hey, thanks. Awesome. Oh, go ahead, Cameron. No, go ahead, Sam. You kick us off. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we appreciate everyone's time. We're happy to be with with everyone uh, this morning for us where we're at. Um, so I'll just start off with a little introduction. Uh, some of you might have seen I, I am Hawaiian. I play the ukulele to start off our session. So I'm going to play a little song here for everyone and then I will pass it over to uh, to Cameron. So, um, you know, we're here to make uh, data fun, fun as can be, right? <laughs> Life could be a dream, connecting data like you've never ever seen. Better together is Marketo and Adobe. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Uh huh. Whoa, life could be a dream, connecting data like it's magic behind the scenes. Better together is Marketo with Adobe. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. All right. <laughs> Welcome everyone out. Um, we're happy to be on, a, on another um, users group to talk about how Adobe Analytics and Marketo is better together. We're big advocates of this and we'll talk to anyone who will listen to us. Uh, we see the power in both systems, and so I will pass the, the time over to Cameron, who will kick off this presentation for us. No, I actually hadn't heard that yet. Uh, that's pretty impressive, honestly, the lyrics there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, so uh, thanks for uh, kicking it's out. Now I get to do the boring part uh, to, to talk about data. No, no, it's fun. We're excited to be with you guys. Um, again, as I already mentioned, you know, you've got Sam here, and you've got me from Data Join. Um, Sam and I have been in marketing analytics for years and years and and work together now in data join. We're going to walk you guys through uh, how to make Adobe Analytics and Marketo, again, with the theme work better together. How do you make these two systems work and complement each other? 
and boost each other and make each other more powerful. So I'm going to jump in and share my screen. And we will show you how to do this. Everybody see if you if you can't see this, go ahead and just just let me know in in teams there and I'll I'll make a change. But um, like I said, we're data join um, and we we always like to start off these presentations with a little bit of aloha. Sam being native Hawaiian, bring the ukulele, bring some set the mood to, to talk about data and kind of relax. Just sit back and, and find out ways that you can get value get get things that, that are going to help you day to day in your job just to make it uh just to help you out and so that's what we like to do uh like like i mentioned sam sam ceo of data join i'm the head of product um and what we're talking about why are we here uh, in this presentation so what we want to do today kind of the main goal is you know if you're an adobe analytics if you're an adobe analytics user and and you're at your company you have both of these tools how do you wrench the maximum value out of these? How do you get the most value possible out of these tools? You have two products that are both Adobe products that can synchronize and can do so much with each other, but it's hard to figure out how to do that. And so what we're doing in this presentation is kind of help you figure out how to get that value. And then we want to give you, show you kind of what better together looks like. So when you're able to achieve Adobe Analytics and Marketo kind of synchronizing and working together. What does that actually look like? And we're going to give you an example of kind of customers that we work with in the field, exactly what that looks like. We think it's really, really powerful. And then we'll actually show you kind of how to get started with integrating your Marketo data into Adobe Analytics. So you're going to be able to walk away from this presentation today with actionable items that you can go out and actually do. And then we'll show you kind of what the future can look like once you've done that. So to start us off, just to set the stage, you know, we talk Adobe Analytics is an amazing tool. Workspace analysis is this incredible reporting tool. You have so much power under the hood in Adobe Analytics. One of the big challenges that we find, you know, with, with the people that we work with and talk to is that while it is amazing and great, it is one dimensional, right? It's just the web analytics data. So at any company or any team, you have all these other data sources that you're working with, you know, from a marketing standpoint, especially Marketo, you know, maybe you're using Salesforce for your CRM. Maybe you have Eloqua as a, as your marketing uh, operations tool. Maybe you're using Facebook ads and you're spending a ton of money on Google ads. So all these different things. And, you know, there are some ways that you can pull some of that data into Adobe through, you know, like campaign tagging and tracking, but there's so much more that you can do. And so when you have data that's one dimensional, how do you get beyond that? Well, it, it doesn't have to be that way, right? You have all this in, very powerful data sitting in, for example, in your contact database in Marketo, things like job title, account, you know, industry, lead status, program status, all these different attributes that, you know, it's very possible you can push those over into Adobe. And what that can allow you to do is when you look at your web traffic, when you look at your user experience on your website, be able to do that with the lens of all these really powerful data points from these other systems. Uh, specifically Marketo and Adobe Analytics we're talking about today. Um, so, you know, so this is very possible and you can totally do this. And and why would you want to do this? Well, there's some obvious reasons, right? You'll have more enriched, more powerful data. It's going to make your analysis more powerful. But one of the kind of under the hood insights that we found, just like peanut butter and jelly, you know, when analytics teams and when marketing automation teams are able to have data that is very, very synergized and synchronized, they truly do work better together. Hence, you know, the name of this presentation and this and this theme, this is really what it's about, right? So what happens when, you know, as we work with teams to help them get this up and running, to help them get Adobe Analytics and Marketo data synergizing and syncing, we found, you know, they turn from, uh, from a passive partner, typically like a reporting distribution center to an active partner, right? So, they're working with each other to activate data and do deep measurement on what everything they're doing in marketing automation and then activating audiences that they have in Adobe Analytics segments, you know, users that are performing very specific behaviors on your website, activating those by pushing those back into Marketo. So it goes both ways. And what that does is that helps turn analytics teams, Adobe Analytics teams, I think we have both sides on this call, right? Help turn you from a just a service center into a partner that works hand in hand with marketing to be way more powerful, way more impactful. And when you do that, you know, improves collaboration, 
you get better insights because you're talking to each other, you're communicating, collaborating better. And then all of that kind of holistically just helps improve marketing performance. And so as we were talking about as we this presentation, like what's the best way to actually show? Because it's one of those sort of under the hood things. It's one of those um, yeah, tangential factors that is really, really critical and really important, you know, outside just having more data, like what, what does it actually do? How do, what does it actually help? So what we thought we do, just, just show you just a quick, you know, just like three emails from this super, super long, like 50 email thread that we have going. This is one of our, you know, customers that Sam and I work with in the field, they're going back and forth, just the amount of back and forth and collaboration between the marketing automation team and the analytics team is just incredible. These guys work hand in hand. And before we came and worked with them, they barely talked to each other. They almost never spoke. It was like, hey, can we set up a dashboard to do X, Y, Z? And that was pretty much it. And now that we're helping them, you know, they've been able to get the Marketo and Adobe Analytics data syncing they're talking to each other constantly. They're communicating about different audience segments on Adobe and how they're activating on them and then turning around and, and seeing exactly how that's performing right in Adobe Analytics inside of Analysis Workspace. Um, <clears throat> so Sam, I'm gonna pass it over to you. Sam, you give us some more kind of insight around kind of what's happening with, with this client that we're seeing in the field. And then you can go ahead and take it into our demo to show you guys you know, a, a tangible thing that you can go do today to actually get started syncing this data. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Cameron. Um, I'll, I'll hop into the into the setup, you know, for the Adobe organization mapping here in just a sec. But yeah, for this particular client, we, we have a couple of clients where um, we see the, the analytics teams working with the marketing automation teams like Cameron is talking about. And this is the type of interaction that we're seeing. You know, they're asking, hey, you know, we'd like to measure the behavior of you know, this list from Marketo instead of Adobe, it's a lot easier to, to do that type of um, that measurement inside of Adobe to see like, hey, what are all the content that they're consuming um, and, and to see all of that in detail. And, and we also see it going the other direction. Um, we see that there are segments that are being created in Adobe that they would like to have, you know, further activation on those segments, but from Marketo, right? So can we sync this segment of, you know, everyone who has come to uh, come to the site you know they've engaged with our chat. Um, they've done X, Y, and Z, and now we could we could activate on them through through the power of Marketo emails. So this is the type of collaboration that um, that is awesome. It's very powerful for teams, and you know it really goes to the title of this presentation: better better together. Um, my last thought on this, you know, I was talking to one of the editors over there at Martech uh, yesterday. We had a great conversation <laughs> and talking about um, customer journey orchestration, and he was saying how you know what, like this is, we're finding that I'm seeing that um, we're having a hard time uh, getting people to catch on to this because so, so many teams, I think the status quo is just to just to know their team and to stay within their team. He told me that the email marketing team sticks with themselves and the ads teams, you know, tend to stick with themselves. And so, you know, we, we had this, uh, this conversation yesterday. I told them, hey, I'm going on a presentation tomorrow where we're talking about how we can get these teams together and really make them better together. And so that's a that's a trend that we see coming up uh, in marketing and, and a powerful one where, you know, every every dollar of budget counts, you know, especially in these times. So um, let me just hop over to let me hop over to and share my screen. I'm going to show everyone how they can set this up today, at least the, the base with connecting um, Marketo Munchkin IDs with, with Adobe ECIDs. Let's see. So here we are in Marketo. In order to set this up, uh, this is called the Adobe Organization Mapping. And this is what's going to allow you, um, what's going to allow Adobe and Marketo behind the scenes to be able to associate um, person IDs inside of um, Marketo with ECIDs or visitor IDs from Adobe Analytics. And so the way you can set this up is you can come here to the admin uh, panel. And then if you scroll down here on the left, you'll in the integration section, you'll see this Adobe organization mapping. So we've already set this up. Um, so the steps aren't here. It just shows, you know, that the organiz the Adobe organization uh, that we've already mapped to. Um, but th this is what it would look like if you're setting it up for the first time. You'd come in and it would say not set. You know, you click edit. And then you can get your Adobe IMS org ID, which 
Um, if you have your Adobe person on the call, you know, doing this with the Marketo person, that's the best way to set this up. But you basically can come into your admin console. See uh, if I have it up here on one of these tabs. I might not have it up. Oh, there it is. So here in the admin console, you can see, you know, inside of the URL what your Adobe org ID is. And then back here, um, you just enter that in, press OK. And this is, you know, this is is a one to one mapping. So once you map to your Adobe org ID, you cannot map to it to another one in the future in that Marketo instance. And you basically confirm that you click close and then it's going to have an Adobe login. <clears throat> and then once that login, once that prompt comes up, then you'll have your uh, Adobe admin, you'll be able to log in with their credentials. You have to be an org admin, right, for the Adobe organization to be able to log in. And once that's done, I mean, this take this took us, you know, like 30 seconds once we once we had, you know, both of the parties on the call, which were small companies, so that was very easy to do. Um, but that's great. So now what's happening behind the scenes is every time someone comes to your site and Adobe's on the page and Marketo is on the page, um, behind the scenes, it's going to sync that visitor ID once again from Adobe to the, to the Marketo person ID, and it's going to send that you know to the back end where you can now have that data available via via the Marketo API. Um, and then let me just highlight this part. Once it's done, these are some cool things that you can do out of the box. You can share uh, an audience uh, from Adobe Analytics, you know, to Marketo, or you can go the other way. You can you can send. Uh, you know, some sort of a list from Marketo uh, over to Adobe Analytics. Let me see if I can show you what what that looks like here in the interface. So if you go to uh, database and you come here to new, you can see sync from experience cloud audience. So if you click on that, then you basically can, you know, choose the, the folder that you wanted to go to. You would select the name. We don't have a <clears throat> audience manager license. So we can't pull directly from Adobe Analytics, but if you do, this will populate with the list of all your audiences inside of Adobe Analytics, and you can just basically write it into a new list or an existing list right here. So that's how you can you can pull data from Adobe into Marketo, and then you can also, um, you know, and we, we can make sure everyone has this link who's on the call. Um, you could also go the opposite direction and send a static list you know, send it to the experience cloud as well. So yeah, Cameron, I think that's that's what I wanted to show here. Just some of the things that they can do out of the box. Yeah, so like like Sam said, I mean, you, you can go do that right now. You can go set that up. Like you said, it takes, you know, probably, you know, 15 minutes. You just need to, if you're on the Marketo side, just get your Adobe Analytics person on the call or vice versa, get the Marketo person. You can go set that up. And that kicks that off and immediately enables you know, all these powerful things like taking Adobe Analytics web segments, like deep behavioral segments, allowing to, uh, allowing you to push those into Marketo. So already kind of kicks off and creates that synchronization between these teams and these tools. You, what Once you kick that off, though, there's even more powerful things you can do. You can go beyond that with a little bit of extra work. And what we want to show you in the rest of this presentation of kind of what that looks like. So specifically looking at the Adobe Analytics side of things, like if I wanted to take like I was showing you guys before, if I want to take Marketo data and analyze that, look at that in Adobe Analytics with all that, uh, <clears throat> with all that enriched data from Marketo, I can do that. So this is just a quick few screenshots of what this looks like. So you can see on the screen, this is inside of Adobe Analytics in the classifications admin portion of Adobe Analytics, right? So if you look at if you build off the this Adobe Experience Cloud ID and 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 part of getting this set up is what Sam just did, which again, you can go do right now on your own instance. Then you can start to pull in all of these things with, a, like I said, a little bit of extra work, um, something that we can totally help with to pull in all these different segments and attributes from Marketo into Adobe Analytics. And so you have all of these different attributes that you can use to slice and dice, analyze, segment, break down your web traffic, break down your behavior based on all these things. And just a quick example of what that looks like. This is, you know, looking at uh, analysis workspace. You know, you can see, you can pull in like lead status. And again, this is just a really simple example just to clearly illustrate to you guys. Just looking at, you know, lead status from Marketo pulled in. And then 
IDs are being synchronized. The ID, the the identifiers between Adobe Analytics and Marketo are being synchronized behind the scenes, and then pulling in all this data. So then you can break down your visitors and your other web data by lead status from Marketo, just as one example. And then in this screenshot, just showing like how much deeper you can go. You know, you can pull in, uh, you know, Marketo campaigns. You can integrate, you know, other data from Marketo or, you know, from Salesforce, which is something you can also do doing this. You can pull in and see closed one amounts, uh, closed one deals against uh, Marketo campaigns and have the attribution in there. You can see, you know, form submissions, all this other contextual data. You can do all this, you know, just with a little bit of extra work. Again, something that this is what we do at DataJoin is we help make Adobe Analytics just way, way more powerful than it is just sitting out of the box. Um, some of the people that we do this with, um, we we do this directly with Adobe. Uh, we work with the web analytics team at Adobe to synchronize Marketo so they can get all this rich data inside Adobe Analytics workspace and vice versa going the other way, pushing Adobe Analytics events into Marketo, which is another use case for us. We also work with a bunch of other big companies, Comcast, Fidelity, Cisco, Arm, you know, AppDynamics, a lot of these to do this. This is something they're they're getting a ton of value out of, as you saw from that that email thread example I showed you guys before. Just teams working better together because they have their data synchronized out of the box, and it's easy. So something that we're doing right now for the next uh, few months is we are set. We are launching this out to all Adobe Analytics uh, Marketo customers for free. So if you want to get this set up, uh, this this inter this deep integration, data join, we're doing this right now for free for anybody who has Adobe Analytics and Marketo. We'll do two events or two attributes, you know, going either way, Marketo to Adobe or Adobe to Marketo. One integration for you guys. You can go ahead and get this set up and start to see all this value and you can do that completely for free. Um and if you want to make that happen, you can uh you can reach out directly to us you can go to our contact page and in the uh, where did you hear about us form just put mugs or you can just go ahead and email me directly cameron at, at datajoin.com and you can get get started and get a jump on that that is it uh for our presentation i will stop here and if there are any questions out there uh now's the time go ahead and go for it and, and let us know what questions you have hey cameron there's a question from vendana on the chat so if you guys want to address that yep let's see here The same org ID be shared across multiple instances of Marketo. Yes. Uh, I so basically, the, as Sam was saying, like it's it's one Adobe Analytics org ID to one instance of Marketo, right? But but if you have multiple instances of Marketo, you can definitely connect uh, like another instance to that same Adobe org ID. It's just if you already set that up once on Marketo. Uh, then it's not going to let you do a new like Adobe Analytics org ID. You probably have to go like deep with support on that. So, but if you have multiple instances of Marketo, you can definitely connect like one to many instances of Marketo. So pulling the Marketo stages into AA. So, <clears throat> so that's something that we help with at Data Joint, right? So, so that what Sam went through on the on the presentation, he showed how to get the org ID mapping set up so that you can do that. Pulling Marketo stages, that's what we do. That's what we help companies with is getting that data kind of pulled over. That does require a little bit of extra work, something that you can definitely do. Like, you know, if you have a engineering team, dev team to like pull that data in once you have the org mapping set up. But if you don't want to do that and we find most companies don't, you can come to us and we can help you out. That's that's what we do at Data Join with our micro integrations. That's just Max, addressing Max's question. Max, yeah, just to add to that, I mean, there are some prep steps that you can do. Like, let's say, you know, you wanted to try to do this with your internal team. Like, what you can do, just make sure that you're writing the ECID on the Adobe side to an EVAR. Uh, like, that's, that's right. That's what you'll need to be able to kind of plug that back in from Marketo. Um, you know, you basically are just pulling, um, you know, leads and then their statuses from Marketo. And then once you flip the switch, how I showed you, then you could also have, um, you know, the pull, pull pull the leads with those ECIDs. You can only do it via the API. There's no way to do it via the interface. But then, yeah, you can you can uh, get it back into Adobe in a number of ways. Like Cameron said, that's what we do. We make it easy. That's why we have the free tier. But if you want to have, you know, give it a go on your own with your team, like th those are the steps right there.
Any other questions from the group? Feel free to uncheck your mic if you want to speak your question instead of write it. Well, if there's no other questions, then I'll just I'll just leave. Let me just put this back on the screen really quick. Just yeah, feel free. Any questions if they come later, go ahead and, and shoot us a note. Or you can just go ahead and reach out to me directly, camera to And then um, this meeting is being recorded, so it'll be shared back with everybody so you can see kind of those setup uh, setup steps, or you can share this around, or you can talk to your colleagues or whoever and, and talk through this. Uh, but yeah, we thank thanks so much everybody for joining and we, we appreciate everyone's time. Thanks. Thanks, Emma. Thank you, data join team. Yeah.